Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, inside of this market, we are asking the question, has the panic stopped on this Black Friday market crash right now as we head into the middle part of this week as we head towards Friday, Thursday and Friday and the big promo of Black Friday that is coming? Uh, it seems, of course, as the weekend leagues sell off and as people selling their teams as they finish their games, it seems to have stalled a little bit. And I want to talk about why I think that has happened, but also how I still think there's going to be plenty of opportunities to buy cards on this game and still see some low prices later on this week, even though we've seen just a few things start to go back up. Now, not everything is really going back up loads. There's a couple cards that have really jumped up in price, and I think there's some pro player influence with some qualifiers looming this weekend, uh, influencing those cards a little bit extra than other ones on the market. But for the, a lot of the market, really, you've seen prices just kind of stay stagnant or bounce up a little bit on most cards, and I think that's just because the panic has stopped and the undercutting has stopped and also I think there's a few reasons for that as well. I want to talk about the SBC content that we had yesterday. Technically, the SBCs that we received, the 81 plus double upgrade and the team of the week upgrade SBC, they're out for 9 days, both of them. That to me, that's our first SBCs of Black Friday. It really is. Uh, our first SBC is basically geared towards the back Black Friday promo. Being out for nine days makes me think that the whole Black Friday promo as a whole is going to run from like this Thursday, Friday into next week a good amount. It's not just going to stop on the weekend. It's going to go basically until uh, these packs are gone away. That's probably when we're going to see cards in packs for. So we'll talk about that sort of stuff today. And as well, today on Tuesday, a lot of content coming in. It is a UCL day. So UEFA marquee matchups potentially dropping today. Could bring some uh, pack supply to this market. Not that a ton of people are opening packs right now. I think a lot of people are saving packs. Um, but maybe people are chipping away to base icon upgrade, the third one, which didn't, didn't really move the market yesterday. We'll talk about that as well. There's just a lot going on in this game right now. On top of the Black Friday, I guess you could say panic and market crash and impending promo already putting a huge, I guess, uh, aura on this game. So let's talk about it, right? Again, yesterday on this game, there wasn't a lot that came out. There really wasn't. You saw a decent market rise after rewards, which was something that we wondered about. I wondered if people were going to go out and play objectives and there wouldn't be much of a, of a rise, but there definitely were some cars that rose up nicely yesterday. Overnight last night, I bought a bunch of Salahs uh, right around about 145, 144, 145, couple at 147, uh, and a lot of them sold like 165. You can see here, 160s. Uh, there was a nice rebound on a lot of these gold cards, and I even traded with some more of them yesterday on this game. Yesterday on the game was actually an incredible time to trade. A lot of these cards, I bought a bunch of Onyekas at like 63, 64K. Um, I bought both of these Blancs, 560, 575. I bought this Luis Figo at 410. I've actually got like 9 or 10 Goretzkas right now on my transfer list uh, that I bought in total 9 or 10 of them. I have a couple more left here. Um, that I bought for like low 160s because this guy was in the 170s. I got most of these with the uh, the shadow chemistry style and they're, they're selling pretty good. So I, I got a lot of trades going on because this market does not feel scared at the moment. And, and I think that is why you've seen some of these prices bounce back on this game, kind of like this Goretzky. He was like 152 at his lowest. And right now he's sitting at like 167 high, 170. So I do feel confident in this market. Now, could today change things? Maybe a little bit. I still think that even though you've seen some of these prices rise up, as I mentioned, I think you are still going to see a bit of panic come to this market later on this week. I mean, it, that could even start today. Take a look at Messi, right? 500,000 coins. He was basically down on Sunday and I believe Monday at his absolute lowest. He was in like the low 400s, like 410,000 coins. So he's up 20K, right? 20,000 coins. That's up just a little bit, to be completely honest. That's that's not that big of a rise, right? That's how most cards are on this market right now. Ronaldo was like 620. He's now 640. Um, Varane was 125. He's now 136. Ro Robbie Keane last night was pretty low. Vinny Jr.'s second in form, who's expected to still be in packs for best of team of the week, was like 285. He's now up like 15K. So a lot of these cards have just kind of bounced back, honestly, because the panic selling has stopped, right? If you look at a lot of these prices... After rewards yesterday on Monday, 
they rose up, right? There was a decent market rise just because people get their rewards and they go out and they buy cards, right? Marquinhos was 62K up to 70. Now, again, for all these gold cards, and we're gonna start to pinpoint maybe like a time to buy in a video here soon, uh, for a lot of these cards, it's still not the buy time yet. And even for the whole entire market as a whole, you know, maybe you're looking at uh, a rule breakers item like Holland 473. I have it on my transfer list right now that I bought at 440, trying to hopefully flip that like the 480 to 490 range. Uh, for most of these cards, if not all of them, I still think that there is going to be another round or two of panic selling in the next three to four days before you see them shoot back up and go up in price on this weekend when everybody goes to buy, right? I still think there's gonna be another round of panic because we there's still a lot of potential for content to come this week. And I think EA is really gonna go hard with Black Friday this year. I really think that they are because they're trying to keep people engaged in this game when the market is so low. And as people are kind of losing interest because the market is so low. I mean, speaking of losing interest in an SBC, another base icon SBC was released yesterday on this game. Basically the third one that we've had in a couple weeks time and 88s didn't even move. I think right now people are at the stage where they know like, hey, I'm not doing this last base icon SBC. It's not worth it. And I don't have the fodder for it. A lot of people the first time around, they had some SBC fodder for it. Look at this 93% downvote on the base icon upgrade SBC, 93% downvote, just because I think people are like, I can't afford this, 500,000 coins, you can go buy uh, Messi for 500,000 coins, and like the team that you can buy for 500K based off doing, or instead of doing that SBC, is wild. So I think people are kind of realizing, hey, Black Friday is about to be here, we're not falling for this trap. Now the SBC that did move the market yesterday in terms of fodder was the team of the week upgrade pack, and that is actually, really brought up the fodder look at this 84s the index was at 190 points it went up all the way to 233 it's dropped back down a little bit but 84s are like 4,000 coins plus per card a lot of you guys are getting these in 2k uh, below 3k range you're making a lot of money on 84s and 83s 83s have basically gone up to about 1.3 to 1.4k as well so big w if you invested in some of that fodder if i'm being completely honest i think potentially the best move to do here would be probably cashing out on a lot of that stuff and that way you don't have to worry about it heading into black friday when so many people want to buy teams and a lot of people are selling their fodder right you take a look at the index 84 again it's kind of spiking like this and you're seeing it kind of dip off into the evening people are selling their fodder because they're worried maybe a little bit about some pack supply that could come today and they just want to get their investment out right they made some coins before black friday they want to put these new coins into a team and buy some players uh, at the end of this week with Black Friday and everything and the price drops and the, and the huge promo. So that's another thing why I think you might start to see the, the market just rise a little bit. And it actually just creates a market, even though we're inside of a market crash, it creates a market that is very, very good to trade in, where you see a lot of fluctuations like we saw yesterday on the game uh, with basically all sorts of cards on this game, right? You saw all the cards that were on my transfer list tons of fluctuations in the past 24 hours that, that I've been able to trade with to make coins on. And I think with the market kind of, you know, a lot of people selling those investments, a lot of people are selling SBC fodder. And I think actually, you know, after you sell an investment and you make a lot of coins, you want to go back on the market and, and buy some cards and, you know, do something good with your coins, right? So some of these UCL cards, Road to the Knockouts, of course, we've got games today. Today is a UCL game Tuesday, that means a couple things for content, but it also means that these cards, a lot of these road of the knockouts are going to be one step closer to a potential upgrade. So as we've seen in the last like 12 to 24 hours as well, you've seen some of these road of the knockouts rise up. Fred, who is right now, uh, Footpin has him at 356. He just got undercut there at 348. Fred at 350,000 coins. He was 330 yesterday when we were looking at him, right? Timo Werner is almost up at a million for his road to the knockout card. A lot of these cards have risen up in anticipation for their games today. Now on my transfer list, I've got a Rodrigo at 280, so he's kind of going over 300,000 coins. Sané, I believe even just yesterday, 380, I'm pretty sure that he was like 350 at one point during the day. Yeah, 358, he was kind of low and he's kind of been rising back up. He's now up almost 30K into the mid to high 380K range. Uh, so Sonaldo is up, he's up like 30,000 coins. In the last two days, Marquinhos was 860 last night. He is up. So there's a lot of these cards that are rising because of that potential um, upgrade hype today. Now, I don't think that EA is going to upgrade these cards today. 
and into this week. So I would be very careful unless they were going to upgrade them as a part of the Black Friday content, which I wouldn't really expect, but I guess it could happen. I still think we're waiting another week or two for these Champions League, Europa League, and uh, Conference League cards to upgrade. So I honestly think that after today's games, you might see a few of these get sold off, even if they win, right? Like Bayern are probably expected to win today. I think they're playing, Benf either they're playing Benfica or uh, Barcelona's playing Benfica. Let me look at the game really quick. Barcelona's playing Benfica. So especially for like De Young, right? They're expected to win. His upgrades are kind of already priced in to this card at this point. You might see some of these Road to the Knockouts get sold off a bit as there's not a ton of demand for people to buy cards on this market. And Road to the Knockouts have really only gone up since the market crash has come because people are investing in them. So you might see some undercutting and some people selling those investments. And since there's less demand for buying teams, you might see some of these cards fall off post game today, tomorrow, and on Thursday as we head into this promo this weekend. So these will be very interesting cards to watch out for as we head into the later parts of this week. But again, since it is a Champions League Tuesday, since it is a Champions League week, that always brings a couple things. And I got to talk about that content-wise today and how that could affect the market. Uh, Champions League Blues. Just imagine if EA Sports wanted to shake up the market even more right before Black Friday by throwing the Champions League cards into packs. Now, again, we know these card designs in the game. We've seen EA tweet out posts with uh, these cards, obviously, shown in like Instagram posts and stuff like that and Twitter posts and we haven't seen them yet. So maybe today, right? Everybody wonders when are we going to see Champions League cards? Maybe today is the day. And that would be a crazy like kind of a out of nowhere type of thing from EA Sports. Honestly, right now, whenever these get released, it's going to be out of nowhere because we were expecting them like three, four weeks ago and we didn't get them. So now if whenever these drop, it's going to be a surprise to us on this game. But that could be a big market movement uh, and a crazy impact on the market if that happened today. I wouldn't expect that, but you know, just it's it could be in EA's back pocket, right? They like to release those cards on Champions League weeks. So we will have to see if they do that today. But one thing that's almost guaranteed to be getting today would be a UEFA marquee matchups, which, which would bring some tradable pack supply to this market. Now, I don't think that would, you know, impact the market a ton. Probably what you would see is you would see some of that fodder take a dip in price, and, but most of the time, what you're going to see, I think, would be people saving those packs. A lot of people would probably save those packs, put them in their pack collection uh, for the promo that is upcoming this Friday, right? Because a lot of people don't open packs now anymore in FIFA when there's nothing out in packs because they know that soon enough there is going to be something out. And that's what they want to save their packs for. So that's kind of what I would expect today from those UEFA marquee matchups. It could drop SBC fodder a little bit, though. So if you have some of that stuff, honestly, I would recommend taking it out. I, I, I take the coins on that because I think you've seen such a big rise. I think you will see a dip this weekend in fodder, but then also a rise later on. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a future video as well. But other content we're expecting today is the third and final uh, league that will be featured as the foot series promo uh, squad foundation series, if you will, EFL championship. So today we will probably get an SPC player and of course, an objective set for the EFL. So just be careful with some of those English cards out there, uh, especially the EFL championship ones. And also, I gotta say this, be careful. If you are on TikTok, man, and you have some cards, I mean, I mean, if you have cards in your club, always be checking their prices because the TikToks right now, it's crazy. James Tyronier's inform was like 14,000 coins on the market. A couple TikToks released telling people to invest in Tavernier because of the English links for a potential Kent, uh, you know, foundation card that could be coming out. I think what's happening is these TikToks are latching on and people are investing without any regard for what is actually going to make these cards up. It's purely like a pump and dump like scheme. It seriously is like a pump and dump. And you've seen so many cards like this fly up recently because of these videos that are getting hundreds of thousands of views on TikTok, people are just going out and buying these cards. Literally, Tavernier has almost doubled in price. There is also a um, Ito. Is this the guy? Yeah. This Ito Inform is also up at 22,000 coins after he was 11K yesterday. So be very careful right now. If you're seeing videos like this, again, or if you know people that are getting involved with this stuff, I, th I think it's going to have to stop because people are going to realize that it doesn't work. But some people are making coins off of it every time, and it seems to keep happening. It happened earlier this week as well with Alex Teixeira. The road to the final Alex Teixeira card was like, uh, I don't even know how much he was, like 
let's see, I'm gonna click on this card because it was it was absolutely ridiculous seeing this price movement earlier on this week. I wanna show you guys the power of, of these TikTok videos. It's crazy. This guy was 13,000 coins and he was up to almost 30K at one point. Look at this on Sunday, 22,000 coins. And then yesterday he was up at 28K, going back down to 23. So technically, yes, you can trade with these cards because look, they have huge swings in price as people sell them, but then people buy them back, especially if it's a really rare card like an, a Road of the Knockouts Texera. But it's just ridiculous when these prices go up like this because it's it's like it's not a really good investment. It's just somebody, it's like a pump and dub. They're saying, go buy this card. People somehow just believe them on word of mouth. The card goes up in price. And then if you don't sell at the peak, then you're screwed, right? And a lot of these cards go back down because there really was no real demand backing that investment or no reason why people wanted to buy those cards. So that's another thing that is just taking the market and you know making it go crazy right now on this game but as we head into today i mean obviously you want to be careful if they do drop the ucl blue cards that would be a crazy market movement but honestly we're just continuing on this road of waiting until friday right i think that is what happened yesterday on this game too is that people are they don't like waiting right they sell their investments or they've got coins up in the top left to buy a team and that's why you see some of these fluctuations on the market that you see and people may be having a little bit more confidence in this market than what they had before um is just it's just because you know They've got coins. They've got coins to mess with. They've got cards and that they want to use, that they want to try out. They see the prices, they're so cheap. And they're like, man, I, I got coins. I want to try these cards out. And I think that's why you're seeing some of these prices go up. People still have to play games, of course, too, right? People are playing foot champs. They're doing qualifiers um, for a weekend league. Of course, if I were you, I would try to get my qualifying games done and in uh, before the weekend for sure. Because if you're going to buy a team and then sell it before everything maybe crashes further this later on this week, that's probably a move. So I don't know. I feel like qualifying for weekend league would be something that if you're watching this video, maybe you would want to stress earlier on in the week if you can, just to make sure that if you're waiting to buy a team, you can still maybe use a solid team in qualifiers, then maybe sell that team and then buy your like post black Friday market crash team a little bit later on. So yeah, right now, again, we're just kind of feeling the content too. Like there's a lot of content that is dropping, but just the whole market besides the SBC fodder realm that has been booming with, with these SBCs that have been released, a lot of the market just seems to be in a waiting mode, right? And that's how it often is during these times when we're just waiting for that like ultimate market crash time frame and ultimate crash point on the market where we're going to have so much supply later on this week. And everybody's just kind of in a waiting mode. So still hang on with those buys for a lot of the players. Honestly, I think we're, we're going to do a specific video on like what to buy, you know, when to kind of buy it looking towards the end of this week. I really think we're going to have a promo team in packs, not just best of team of the week, because gone are the days where EA would just release old informs and packs and call that good for Black Friday. There's going to be big content this weekend. There really is uh, on this game. So that's going to be something that we're going to keep a close eye on and uh, continue to follow this market into the weekend, right? So if you're still waiting to buy a team, keep waiting. That's 100% my advice. If you're trading on this market, icons, out of pack specials, they still have a lot of fluctuations because you know the SBCs that come out today could be an interesting day. People latch on to some, some theories about panic. I mean, look at this Vigo back up to 470, 480 almost. I sold mine at 450. So these road to the knockouts as well, they're really great to trade with, but I think a lot of people have invested in them since they're rare. And since there hasn't been too much to invest in in the past like week or so. So, you know, if you don't want to take the risk on them, maybe you look to cash out decently soon uh, today or when, around the time these guys play their games this week as well. So that's kind of the update on the market. Watch out for a second upload about more of the when to buy types of cards that should rise post Black Friday, of course, and stuff like that. Look out for a secondary upload on that today as well on the channel. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure to hit a thumbs up down below in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling about the market at the moment. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.